from the area's news leader. Now in high definition, this is your news now at six. With our population aging, there are more and more people applying for special permission to use the handicapped parking spots. But do communities have enough? Good evening and thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Alexandria Chapin. Dealing with disabilities can be tough enough on its own. As Sam Shriver reports, a Salina man is hoping to bring attention to the lack of adequate handicap parking. It's been nearly 30 years since Tim Worcester lost use of his legs in an automobile accident. We ran off the road and we all were ejected from the car and um, I broke my back in two places, broke my neck, broke my left arm in two places and had a head injury. The Salina native does what he can to survive on his own, including driving himself from place to place. Two obstacles he faces are people who aren't handicapped using handicapped parking spaces and the lack of larger spaces to accommodate the ramp on his van. The order I get, I need more room, and um, a lot of times people will be parked in the yellow lines where you know there's, no, there's supposed, supposed to be no parking, but people will be parked in those things, and I don't think they realize that people need that. You know, they need that room. I need, I need a couple rolls to get myself up my, my ramp now, and if I don't have it, I mean, it's, it's a tough thing to have happen. With our population aging, there are more and more people applying for special permission to use the handicapped parking spots. The requirement for parking in a handicapped spot in Ohio is that they have to have a, handy, a removable handicap placard on their windshield or they have to have a special handicap plate. If you're caught illegally parking in a handicapped spot, you could face a hefty fine. Uh, they, they could be issued a citation and I believe the, the uh, offense would be a $250 fine up to a $500 fine. Worcester just wants people to be considerate of other people with disabilities. I would really like to see people um, just be more cognizant if they could park someplace else. I mean, if they could park a couple places down if they do not need it. You know what I mean? If, or if they have a car and they can at least walk just a little bit farther I think sometimes they don't realize that, you know, somebody else could be using that spot that really needs it a lot more. And like I said, if they do need it, that that is fine. In Salina, Sam Shriver, your news now.